Uh, let me ask you this. We've been having very spirited discussions for the past few days about the Ohio River Bridges Project or the debacle that is the Ohio River Bridges Project. One of the uh, groups that is uh, opposed to the East End Bridge said, look, there's no money for this. What are your thoughts on, uh, in my mind, one of the things that the federal government should contribute to is the tra transportation infrastructure in the country. What are your thoughts on that? And, and, you know, do we need to work harder to bring some federal dollars back for that, or is that something that, you know, Kentucky and Indiana need to pay for themselves? I think we need to fund the money, and the way you fund the money is by looking at where we're spending money, where we shouldn't be spending money. For example, if we decide that the bridge is old and the traffic patterns are such that there's so much congestion that we need a new bridge here in Louisville, they also want one in northern Kentucky. Both groups have wanted these for years now. Interestingly, we don't put any money aside. I would think each year we'd be putting money aside for those projects and saving up capital to put towards these projects. But the second thing is, is we give away $30 billion in foreign aid to other countries for their infrastructure. We also bomb bridges in Afghanistan and then rebuild them. We bomb the schools and then rebuild the schools. And while these are noble things to try to help other countries, to do nation building sounds good because you're helping these people, we're doing it at the expense of our infrastructure. And I think there's not enough money to do both. So I would say if people in Louisville want a new bridge, you need to call your congressman and you need to tell him, you know what, we want our bridge and we'd rather build it here than in another country. So well, I, I understand that there's going to be a country-by-country country vote on some of the foreign aid that's going out now. Obviously, are, are you in favor of doing away with all foreign aid? Where do you stand on that? I think that we as a country shouldn't borrow money from China to then send it to any other country, ally or not. And I think there are ways of helping your allies. There's ways of selling arms to allies and doing things like that. And I think we should be selective on who we sell arms to. But I think there are definitely people who have been our allies and we want to be our allies that we sell arms to. But I'm not sure we should give away arms or give away money because we're not even giving away our own money. We're basically borrowing from either future generations of Americans or from foreign countries to give to another country. Meanwhile, we have struggles here with our infrastructure that we're not able to meet. What are your thoughts on what's going on with Libya right now? I think that we shouldn't go to war unless we declare war formally. I think the Constitution is pretty explicit about this. And I think it's a great hypocrisy for the President who in 2007 said that the President should not go to war without congressional authority unless there's the threat of an imminent attack. I think most of us say if a nuclear war or a terrorist attack was in the process of happening imminently within hours to days, the President does have the right to respond. Uh, to, to, you know, to counter any type of attack, but we really ought to have a discussion in our country. We're involved in two major wars right now, whether we can afford a third war, and also whether or not Libya is a threat to our national security. I, I just am confused about the objective at this point. I, I mean, this is sort of an objectiveless war. We're going to do this. We're going to take a very quick time out. Senator Rand Paul has a little extra time to spend with us, so he'll be back in just a moment. I'll ask him about the RAINS Act, and uh, and I'm going to actually get him to uh, to go ahead and announce his uh, candidacy for president <laughs> in just a moment on 84 WHAS.